Bonjour amigos, hoy jugamos Italia in Hearts of Iron 4. Because the past few games that we've been playing have been a little bit on the tamer side, I do feel like causing a little bit of chaos. I don't know what's wrong with me, probably just that I got a haircut and now I feel like causing a little bit of more mayhem. And this mayhem manifests in not knowing what the AI will do in Hot Iron. I don't think I've ever looked at the democratic path. Do you get anything here? Wait, what? If you go democratic, you can, you can reform Rome as democratic Italy, which is kind of based. I wanted to go the communist path just because like, it's a little bit ridiculous. You get like eight spies in this tree. You get more spies than Stalin has. And he has the fucking KGB. I think, uh, Grand Council and Let's go for democratic Rome. Maybe we're gonna be the first person to click the revoked Acero law. Oh fuck, I forgot about a council. Ugh. I wanna play this damn mini game. I just wanna play Hearts of Iron, man. Just let me play a country. I don't need gimmicks. We do have four research slots. You know what that means. That means basic research. Oh, and I guess we can build a few civilians. I think that sounds good. That sounds quite good to me. Okay, um, focus tree. We do have one. Finally. Army Primacy. Get a few more mill factories going. Airplanes. Doesn't really matter that much, but we might as well use them. I think we're good to go. Just took me two. Right, I'm playing Italy. I want to win in Ethiopia. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I just remembered why I spent 10 minutes setting everything up. Oh! German Civil War. If we're lucky, we do get someone causing a little bit more of havoc. If he does go democratic as well, then um, we're gonna have a little bit of a problem here, Mr. Adenauer. Yay, success in South Ethiopia. Bah. We only have shite guys. I guess the infantry guy. Just to make pushing here easier. We have solid progress. That's good enough for me. And then we can rush down here as well. Kingdom of Poland crowns a king. Oh. Now I do really hope we also get a Kaiser because then this is gonna be pretty cool. Commonwealth. Okay. Uh, uh. You really went with the most boring one, did you? Nothing against Poland, Lithuania, but like, what do you do? Oh, actually they get East Prussia and they get Russia as well. In that case, yeah. Poland is at the very least gonna call in the EU if Germany doesn't do anything cool. At least we can look forward to that. There we go, another side quest from Mussolini. Blood alone. I get it. Name of the DLC. I'm gonna go down extensive conscription now. Since we will be flipping democratic, most likely unless I get a change of heart and stop playing this game, we will have to... Oh, fuck the fucking fuck, fuck, fuck this fuck. We will have to live with whatever manpower we have, so extensive conscription now before we will lose it. Less than 1%. Okay, we just need to say that this guy is bold and then people will stop liking him. Just look at this. I haven't done anything. I already have two spies. I've not even researched a spy agency just because I have spies in my focus tree. Like this. And you're telling me this guy, the guy that famously shot everybody in his own country, this guy doesn't get five billion spies and only a handful of buffs? Bold, bold, bold. Now we can convene the Grand Council. Minus 1% PP gain. <laughs> we don't like Mussolini enough, so now we can put him into gay baby jail. France, UK, doesn't seem like they're doing anything too interesting. Oh no. Why is it always communism with you guys? <laughs> it's like the only alt history choice that Japan has, man. Communism to do nothing. I mean, I've made an entire video about this, how the, like, you just shoot yourself in the foot, you lose everything. Did I have a Mussolini side quest? I guess, uh, whoops. Spain is doing something to itself. It's gonna be very bad. This is gonna be very, very bad. No, it won't. It matters jack shit what Lithuania does because they will probably just 
Even though they are a puppet of the Soviets now, they will probably just submit to Poland once Poland flips. Oh, that doesn't seem normal. It's a change in course. Uh, the US also went ahistorical. Yeah, that's just the ineptitude of Mexico. How many monarchists do we have in this game? <laughs> no China policy. Interesting. Score. You got two puppets already. And I can just get rid of the Camichiniere. Woo. And I mean, minus 50%. Fascism support is also pretty cool, I guess. Mario Skeba. That guy gives you reinforced rate as a political advisor. That's also pretty cool. We already got another operative here. Weekly stab, 1%. But I think it's a little bit lame to have a democratic king. Choices. Ah, choices that don't matter ultimately. Ah, fuck stability, man. I don't need stability. I'm a grown man. Heraklion. <laughs> The Filililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililil
the UK was just like, okay, we're com communists now. And then India was like, okay, we're no longer in the civil war. Russia is also guaranteeing Romania. If Russia wasn't there, then I would go to war. Because we would get France, we would get Czechoslovakia. That's a pretty good deal. We go, let's move like a snake. Also, one thing I did not know about, because I played Metal Gear Solid 2 years ago, in a codec call, it's explained that Vam, the Romanian guy that survived because he sucked on the blood of his family, that is pretty much invincible, immortal, flies around, hisses, and has those teeth, is not called Vam because of all of these weird coincidences. He's called Vam because he's bisexual. That's all the explanation that's given. And I just love this. Because that implies that in the Metal Gear universe, if you're bisexual, you're just called Van. I love Metal Gear, man. It's, it's so fucking stupid. Well, at least I will have something to fight over. No, Poland. You were supposed to stop Germany. I mean, you've not even taken Lifu. Fair enough. There's a small problem now. I mean, technically any communist faction in Europe, but strike at the source. You get a double war goal against Russia. However, they need to be communist. This Russia will not become communist. Oh, that was bad timing, my friend. Okay, yeah, Russia's, Russia's fallen. No, I can take Romania, but I need to hurry because the British might just attack me. Oh, fuck. I forgot I'm Italy. I'm not allowed to lose territory or else somebody is gonna shoot me. Well, I mean, it's France. That should be, should be over relatively quickly. No! What? Why did France join Europe? Oh, that's so bad. I don't want to fight Germany yet. That was supposed to be the final boss. Can invite Russia. I will invite Russia, yes. For the Romes. Oh, fuck. They're gonna call South America in now. I forgot about that. I mean, we're holding relatively well. Why did Romania join? And why are you losing Tripoli every other day, man? It's almost as if this was historical. Yes, France is gone. Although we still have to take out all of the Benelux and everything. Every single country in Europe. Well... <laughs> I guess the South American threat has been amended. You've done something, America. That is honestly the only thing that I dislike about forming Rome. The only way we can form Rome now is we don't have to go to total war. We just have to push France out of North Africa, then declare war on Egypt, Palestine, Jordan, take Damascus, declare war on Turkey and push them completely out. and. Then we can form Rome. Like, it's very simple, really. Having the civil war is probably very beneficial for them right now. They have such a small border to defend. Portugal declared one. What? 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 What did you do? Oh, the, oh, the. There we go. We can annex Portugal. How's Romania looking? They weren't even scratched by this. But they seem to be on their own right now. We are probably taking them out. Nice pocket with most of the divisions that were in Romania. Oh, yes. Give more land to Romania. They need the additional industry right now. That's going to save them, definitely. And it doesn't just mean more land for me once they cap. Luxembourg. Ah, uh, UK, what are you doing? Ugh, Russian troops marching through Ukraine. Why did this flip to Russia? You've done nothing here. You only guaranteed Romania and pretty much just guaranteed that they will join against me. Oh, look at them, he got a crown. He's so happy. Oh my God. <laughs> They're gonna try it again. I hope this time America just annexes them. Although you are having a little bit of a gamer problem. <laughs> It never ends, it never ends, it never ends, it never ends, it never... Oh, wait, no. Yes, hello, 911. Yeah, it's me again. I'd like to report a war crime. Oh, <sighs> an attack from all sides. And you were a democratic Germany. You just shouldn't have messed with France. It never ends well when you mess with France as Germany. <gasps> I can do things, finally. We have 100% world tension. At least such is the fine. And goodbye, Spain. You didn't really expect an Imagino line to be used like this, but that's also one way to use the Imagino line. Russia is just causing more and more problems for me, man. I can't invade Ukraine. I'll be cancelled. You know what? Let's just end the video here. You know, uh, it, it, it's, it's fun. You know, Italy, um, democratic Italy is a very, very cool country. You know, uh, you, you get to declare war. I mean, I even justified here in Egypt and... Uh, I can declare war in a few more days and uh, very cool, you know, like, very fun. You get to do things. Oh, that's a lot of points that we have. Um, 
Now, how are we gonna divvy up those points that we have? Yes, give me Mexico. Very important core territory of the Roman Empire. Not as important so hungry though. Oh, fuck you. I suppose we will need to go to war with the British because they took one single state. I don't have a justification in the UK anymore. Frick, what do I do now? Uh, an extra Dan. What, 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 wait. We did proclaim ourselves the sword of As Islam. What? I... To Benito Mussolini. Do I look like Benito Mussolini? It's over. That's how you get an empire. Just declare war on the UK and cut them in pieces. With this simple trick, take everybody, please. Kingdom of Italy, more like Kingdom of Europe. Haha. -ha. And now we can also form the European Union, although I want to do it the other way. I don't want to be a democratic European Union, that's lame. I want to be a democratic Roman Empire. This Publica Romana, or how a Roman would have said. I guess Publica Romana. And with that, we now get a bunch of cores. Let's declare war on Swiss. Let them expand a little bit. Also, let's justify on Ireland. Oh, look at that. My justification is complete. No, <laughs> I lost my technical industries. Because <laughs> they took all of the north. An unexperienced player might say, well, that's a sloppy war for someone who conquered all of Europe. But that is intentional. I want the Swiss to expand into my land so that I can retake the Alps without 5 billion Swiss standing in every single tile because that's just so fucking annoying. There we go. Well, goodbye, Russia. I would have said it been fun, but that would be a lie. You gave bloody what? No! No! <laughs> <laughs> you both traded Sakalin away. Oh, well, uh, that's a surprise and not cool. You just can't trust those kings. You can only trust democratic societies like the Respublica Romana. They would never generate world tension. That was chill. Yeah, I guess they were also weakened from the civil war. I could invite the US. The thing is just, I have different plans for bringing America into the Roman Empire. Slightly different plans. I am still democratic. I can't make collaboration governments. <laughs> We're pushing aggressively and just look at the casualties rack up. Like nothing personal about anybody here. Uh, it's just so cringe to attack the American AI. <laughs> because they're gonna invade you like they should. It's just not fun. There's a relatively easy fix for this. Just use garrison divisions, but I don't want to. So I win. I get to complain. L. Yay, look at that. It was so hard to take out America. So actually very fun. As for Japan, legitimately... <laughs> That wasn't even ahistorical. I've seen the exact same thing happen in historical. I mean, you know, like Japan would go to war with China in the beginning and then get pieced out and then the same thing happens with communist Japan and 